Hey there! Welcome to Adventure Gaming HQ, and welcome back to another MCPE video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a really awesome secret cauldron block hidden in the files of MCPE. This secret item is not only available for the 0.15.0 beta for Android, but it's also available for the 0.14.3 update for iOS devices. And I bet you it's going to work in even higher versions. To get the secret item, you'll need an application for iOS and an application for Android. The application for iOS is called PlugPE and the application for Android is called Pocket INV Editor. Before we go over the block and show you some really awesome things you can do with it, let's first learn how to get it. So first off, let's start with iOS. The first thing you want to do is you want to get the application PlugPE as I've already said. Now once you get the application, what you want to do is you want to go directly into it and then you want to allow it onto your VPN. Now right now, I don't need to do that because I've already done it. But but when you first go in, you'll need to like allow it into your VPN. It's, it's a short little process and once you've done it, you're ready to go. And by the way, you need to have Wi-Fi. Now once you're on this page right here, what you want to do is you want to go directly back into Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now once you go back into Minecraft Pocket Edition, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your multiplayer game and your broadcast to LAN are both on or else you won't be able to join. Once you get this notification right here, that means you did everything right and you're ready to go. Basically what PlickPE does is it gives you commands for Minecraft Pocket Edition on iOS. So that means we can do commands to get secret items. To get a secret item, what you'll need to know is you'll need to know the ID number. So as you can see here, I have the ID number right here for this particular thing. So the ID number for this thing is 380 and the item damage is 15. So once we know the ID number and the item damage, we now have to put in a special command. So what we're going to do is we're going to go directly into our chat and we're going to do dot G, which means give, and then we're going to do 380, which is the ID number, and then colon and then uh, 15. So dot G 380 colon 15 will give us the secret item. When we put it in, as you can see from the sky, falls down our secret item. We can place it and it's the weird secret thing. Now let's talk Android. Now the very first thing you want to do with Android is you want to download the application that's called Pocket INV Editor, as I've stated before. Every time you use Pocket Inventory Editor, you want to make sure that Minecraft Pocket Edition is not running in the background. Now the very first thing you want to do when you go into Pocket INV Editor is you want to select the world that you want to add your item to. Once you've done that, you want to select Edit Inventory and then you want to select one of your random items in your inventory. Now you can see the item ID and the item damage. All you want to do is you want to change the item ID 380 and then the item damage to 15. Once you're all done, all you gotta do is save your changes and then go back into your Minecraft Pocket Edition world and it should be there. Okay, now that we have our secret item, it's time to answer the question, what the heck is this? Well, when you first place this down, you may think, well, this is just, this is just a cauldron, bro. Yeah. Now, apparently in your hotbar, it's called cauldron, and it looks exactly like a cauldron. But when you place it down, and you jump up, you can see here that at the top, we have some water. Now this water is very strange. First of all, it's just like a sheet of water that's above the cauldron, not even inside of it. And also, if you look really closely, it's still animating. And when you tap the cauldron with some glass, you can see here it just goes right back into the cauldron. But this is probably the coolest thing about it. So as you can see here, the- oh crap! So as we can remember, the item ID for this one is 15, but if we move over this way, we turn down the item ID to 14, it goes down just a little bit as you can see. And then over here we have 13, which also goes down a little bit more, and then uh, 12, and then 11, and then 10, and then we skip 9, I don't know why I did, and then 8, 7, 6, and then at 6 is when it goes right back into the cauldron, 5, 4, 3, two, and then one. The way I think this works is that when you start with uh, ID number six and you take a little bit of the water, it changes the ID number to five, and then four, then three, then two, then one. I think that's how it works, but I'm not too sure because somehow they coded into the game if you go overboard. Like you can go over to seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up to 15, which is like all the way up here. Also, these cauldrons work with redstone signals. If you don't know what I mean, I mean that if you were to attach a cauldron to a comparator and then measure how much redstone it has or how much redstone will come out of the comparator, it depends on how much it's filled. So here at one all the way down, it only works to one uh, redstone. So that's how far it reaches out. If we try another one, it's just dead. It only works to one. So as we can see, it slowly goes bigger and bigger and bigger. But as we know, the, the highest we can 
have a cauldron go to is one, two, three blocks. But because we can go over the item ID of six, we can go to seven, it can go a little bit higher, and it can go to four block extension. And it gets really, really, really crazy with over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks of redstone extension on the 15 item damage. So at this point in the video, I'm going to go show you guys some awesome tests we're going to do with it and also some really awesome things you can use it for. So the first question we've already answered, what if we were to try to take some of the water? As we said, it goes directly back into the cauldron. Next question, what happens when we diet? Well, when we diet, all that happens is exactly with the water, it just goes back into it. And here if we try to use some potions, it will just explode. <laughs> So basically, all the results on these tests were quite anticlimactic and depressing. <laughs> Now let's move on to some awesome things you can do with it. So right over here, we can see that we have some crazy carpet like glitching in and out. The way this is working is that it's actually only water with carpet uh, inside of it. So we can see here, there's the water when we add the carpet, it just goes absolutely nuts. You can do it by going down two blocks just like this, and then placing a cauldron with the item damage 15, then taking a regular block, placing it here, what well, right here, and then taking a carpet and placing it on top, which will make it go absolutely nuts. The next trick I have is actually puddles. And by the way, I got the idea of the puddles by the guy who actually sent me in how to do this. Here's a, here's a tweet on the screen right now. This guy's awesome. I don't know how he found it, but he did. And he thought of puddles. And that's where the idea came from. Last thing I have is a prank. So let's say there's some guy trying to get some water from this cauldron. He tries to get some. Oh, he just got pranked. There is no water in that cauldron, sucker. The way I do this very apparently is I take a uh, cauldron with a water glitch and I place down a, a regular cauldron right on top and it looks like it's full, although it's not full at all. Okay everyone, that was how to get a really awesome secret cauldron block in Minecraft Pocket Edition 0 0.15.0, 0 0.14.3, and hopefully higher versions than that too. Well anyway, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos.